Hello, I'm Monsignor Tom Baddock, pastor of Notre Dame of Bethlehem Church. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the celebration of the second Sunday of Lent. For our opening hymn, please join in singing two verses of Lord Who Throughout These Forty Days. Please pray with me now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray to nourish us inwardly by your word, that with spiritual sight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham. Here I am, he replied. Then God said, Take your son Isaac, your only one whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a holocaust on a height that I will point out to you. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there, and arranged the wood on it. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. Here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a holocaust in place of his son. Again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed even when I said, 
I am greatly afflicted. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I will, I will walk, walk before, before the, the Lord, Lord in, in the, the land of the, of the living. living. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will, I will walk, walk before, before the Lord in the, in the land of, of the, the living. living. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. I will, I will walk, walk before, before the Lord in the, in the land, land of, of the, the living. living. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all, how will he not also give us everything else along with him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us, who will condemn. Christ Jesus it is who died, or rather was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, who rather proclaim his holy gospel, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory, Glory and praise, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. From the shining cloud, the Father's voice is heard. This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. Glory, Glory and, praise and praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, you, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain, apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no fuller on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them, along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say. They were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. From the cloud came a voice. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone, except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, you, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. There's a lot of selective listening going around these days. You know what selective listening is. We hear what, what usually we want to hear, and sometimes only what we want to hear. So I have a funny story to make my point. There was a 91-year-old guy. He went to the doctor. And two days later, out on the street walking, the doctor saw the 91-year-old man, smiling, cheerful, with a beautiful 30-year-old woman on his arm. The guy says to the doctor, Hey, thanks, doc. I did what you said to do. And the doctor said, for heaven's sake, what did I say? And the 91-year-old man replied, you said, find a hot mama and be cheerful. No, 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 replied the doctor. I said, you have a heart murmur and be careful. Selective listening. Know anybody like that? We all do. Selective listening can affect our relationship with Christ as well. 
the wonderful gospel story of the transfiguration. Here's our take-home message today. The, the voice that spoke from the clouds, the voice of God. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. And so listen to Christ. You know, I think we all need to do better in our listening to Christ. We listen to strangers at work. We listen to total strangers at a bar, at a restaurant. We listen to talk radio or TV shows. But do we do as well listening to Christ? But also, why should we listen to Christ? Three simple reasons. First, he sees better than we do. Secondly, he cares about us better than we do. And thirdly, he knows how to get to heaven. Jesus sees better than we do. Now, no matter how smart or experienced we are, we're limited. Especially when figuring out God's plan for our life. Because we only see a small part. And Christ, he sees everything. And so it's good for us, even though we think we know what's going on and what's right for us, it's so important that we slow down and go to Jesus in prayer. Spend quiet time in Eucharistic adoration, reading sacred scripture, and meditating on the message of sacred scripture to seek his plans for us. In other words, to see as, as he sees. And then in your prayer to ask him, Lord, what should I do? Or here's my favorite, Lord, show me the way. Show me the way I should go. Do you do that? I recommend you do that. And so listen to Jesus because he sees better than we do. And secondly, listen to Jesus because he cares about us better than we do. You know, we don't always do what is best for us. Do we? Do we always eat right? Get the proper sleep? The proper exercise? The proper relaxation? Do we feed our souls? Do we work to improve our marriage? To be a better parent? The list could go on. We all cut corners, let's be honest. But Jesus Christ... He knows what's best for us. And so listen to him, and you'll never regret it. And why? Because he cares about us better than we do. And thirdly, listen to Christ, because he knows how to get to heaven. The way to heaven is through Christ himself. And so when we know Christ, and when we know his love for us, and his plans for us, a peace fills our heart and our soul. And it's at that moment that we know that, that life will never defeat us together with Christ. Some years ago, before my father died, he suffered a stroke and he was at a rehab and I dropped by the one day, and all the residents were gathered for one big kind of group counseling meeting. Everyone was in wheelchairs. They all were very, very sad. My dad, too. He was sitting in the front row. But suddenly, my dad lifted his head, and he started singing at the top of his lungs, you're a grand old flag, you're a high-flying flag, and forever. And he started 
to turn to the others and encouraging them to join in. He was singing and he was smiling. And guess what they did? They joined in. And before long, the whole room was singing and smiling. And he went on to another patriotic song. And the nurse saw me standing at the back of the room and, and she expressed her concern to me. She pulled me aside. She said, I'm afraid your father needs a psychological counsel, consult. <laughs> to which I said, you've got to be kidding. I set her straight. My dad was running their own counseling session, or at least a little bit of a pre, pre, preview to the counseling. You know, at first there was great sadness and great fear in the room. And so when he started singing, that was the face of Christ in a different way. And when Christ entered that group through the words of an old patriotic song and others, it changed that room. You know, when Christ is welcome into our lives, there is peace, there is joy. And so the way to heaven is through Christ. So stick to him. My brothers and sisters, great things can happen to us when we listen to Christ. Not selective listening, but the whole thing. Why? Because he sees better than we do. And he cares about us better than we do. And you know what? He knows how to get to heaven. So listen to him. You'll never be sorry. God bless. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gathered as one voice, let us present our petitions to our merciful Father. That all members of the church may be blessed with the grace to hear God's voice each day, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders everywhere may be led by the Spirit in protecting life at all its stages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all who are suffering physical, financial, or psychological hardships due to the coronavirus may have their burdens lifted by the Lord and be consoled by His healing hand. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those among us who may be discerning a call to the priesthood or religious life, may be led and strengthened by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may rest in peace with all the angels and saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And let us remember John and Mary Mazur, for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for any special needs in our hearts, We pray also for the many people who are worshiping with us on the internet, for them and for their needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, 
hear our prayers that we place before you today. We ask these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death on the holy mountain, he manifested to them his glory to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your Spirit that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, once we were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar w w way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, he handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover, and our lasting peace. We celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead and looking forward to his blessed coming. We offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim 
who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into the one body of Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, and with our deceased sisters and brothers, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed from at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into the new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Without shaking hands, extend peace to one another. Peace, and peace, and peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that You should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. At this time, I invite you to pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us while still on earth to be partakers even now of the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bless your faithful, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever. And keep them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son, so that they may always desire and at last attain that glory 
whose beauty he showed in his own body to the amazement of his apostles. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Please join in singing two verses of Lord who out these, throughout these 40 days, verses 3 and 4. As you did hunger and did thirst, so teach us, gracious Lord, to die to self and only live by your most holy word. And through these days of penitence, and through your passion time forevermore in life and death O oh lord with us abide